Hey guys, Dylan here, and I'm here to show you guys how me and Dinox and Pink Grills made the beat to Brent's Revenge uh, Woke Up Weird Dot Wave. So, this kind of started by uh, me hitting Dinox up for a beat for my album, and then it just kind of um, became a producing session he called me and he was like hey do you just want to do this together and i'm like uh sure i've never really made a beat before but you know he was like here i'll, I'll uh, teach you everything you need to know and so he made this like he he made this flp right he sent it to me and i'm like i don't know what i'm gonna do with this but i guess we'll see and so uh he ended up sending me uh this loop which i was like i want something that sounds kind of like a uh, betrayal by trippy red because that was one of my favorite songs by Trippy, and it just so happened to be produced by the same producer. So he was like, all right, I'll see if I got something. And then he ended up sending me, me this loop that he made with Pink Grills. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I'll definitely use that for something. And then, you know, eventually, again, he called me and he was like, hey, you just want to be scared? I'm like, okay. So the very first thing that I added was this 808. Um, this is actually the exact same 808 that they used in Betrayal. And it's playing a very simple pattern. That sounds like it's a lot of 808s, but when you hear it with like the entire song, it's not really that bad. Um, I didn't really add any effects to the 808. So next, I've got the super simple clap. Oh no, this is a kick. So this this one comes from the Dinox Super Secret Stash Kit. I think it's secret. I'm not sure. He didn't really tell me when he gave it to me if this is out or not. I don't know. The guy has so many dang kicks, man. But yeah, it's the rack kick. Also, if you're noticing that it sounds really punchy, that's because uh, Dynox taught me a little trick. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and switch my... Um, uh, Alright, so you guys are going to see me go offline for a second. All right, you guys, I'm back. So now you can see my entire screen. So basically what, so a, a trick that he taught me was boost your 808s and your kicks. So instead of it sounding like this, it'll stick out in the mix a little bit more. It's very subtle, but you know, it's, it's very effective. So um, yeah, it's just a simple little kick pattern. You know, literally anybody could do it. Next, I've got the, you know, the clap pattern that literally every producer uses. You know, it's it's a common pattern for a reason. So, I believe this is also from his pack. Yeah, this is the clap, but Barty. I don't know why he named it that, but he did. Um, yeah, I've got loads of internet money drums for no reason, because <laughs> I rarely produce. So I've also got a snare, which I also believe is from this pack. Let's see, snare sizzle, right? Let's see, so that would have been... Hmm. Yeah, there's that. It's just following the, uh, the clap pattern. All right, so next is the super simple hi-hat pattern. Now, producers, if you want to know a really good trick and how to get it, uh, your uh, hi-hats to like stand out in the mix, just pan them a little bit left. This is a trick that uh, Dinox actually taught me. I'm pretty sure every producer knows this, but I didn't at the time. Just, you know, pan it a little bit to the left, you know? And then this is the pattern. Hang on. So this is from the, also from this pack. I mean, I, I literally think that I used something from 
this pack for everything. But yeah, so this is the HHSC. I'm pretty sure that's how I hat sound cloud. I'm not sure. But yeah, super simple. Yeah. So this is the open hi-hat pattern. It's just, it follows the kick, which producers don't do that. That sounds terrible. But I, I only did it because I needed something, you know, I didn't know what I was doing, which, you know, thankfully this one got placed, but it almost didn't, if I'm being honest. Uh, but yeah, you know, same thing, just kind of, I don't know, just kind of, you know. Which again, this is from the Dynox Sauce Stash Pack. So all together, the drums will sound like this. Now, as you can see, I did some of the arranging. Now, Dynox actually did quite a lot of this himself, but you know, I kind of I helped do this part right here. Um, so right here is where the little like stop and the song hits. So all together, that sounds like this. thing that needed to happen was to add a little uh, parametric EQ to the master so this is what that looks like so this is um, this preset the, the, the 30 Hertz plus 18 Hertz cut and I just kind of automated uh, the blue one right here and you'll see what I mean That's kind of like a Dynox uh, signature, or at least it was at the time. I don't know if he does that anymore, but I was like, you know what? This actually sounds really good. I think I'm going to add this. So I did. Uh, and then the last part were the tags. <laughs> we love you, Dylan. Now I had a different tag at the time, but since, you know, this is the updated version, you know, I thought I'd add that. Uh, and then at the end, it's a little trail off here. So yeah, that's how, that's how me and Dinox and Pink Grills made the beat for Woke Up Weird Dot Wave. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, go subscribe to Dinox and Pink Grills and go follow Brent on uh, SoundCloud. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. And make sure to go check out the um, official song. I'll also leave that down there. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it.